Oh, that doesn't sound good. That's a sad sight. Hello friends and welcome to the channel. So for today's um, episode and session, I'm not actually going to be doing any digging in the bunker shaft. Instead, I've bought myself some of this threaded rod with a couple of lengths of that, some decent sized washers and nuts. And what I plan to do is, it's probably going to be easier to show you there rather than explain it, but basically what I want to do is put in some, drill some holes into the side of the uh, shaft through the clay. Um, 100 mil using the auger and then I'm going to concrete in uh, basically some rebar so I have some rebar welded onto the end of this rod some of this rod will actually be inside the, the cement so it'll be concreted into the side and these will be protruding up through um, the walls of the shaft and I'm going to have these all the way down the shaft be maybe two on each face and this will be used later on initially it'll be used to, to bolt a ladder um, for access but then also the rails for the elevator which I plan to put in there so um, and then also further down using this to help secure shoring up against the sides of the shaft so it's yeah as I say it's probably going to be easier in, it's a mozzie. Oh, get out of here. I must feed this. Um, it's going to be easier to um, to see it rather than explain it. But um, that's going to be today's project. So I had planned to do some digging, but this stuff needs to be done. I, and I think now's the time to do it before the hole gets too deep. And um, I've got a bit of a new plan around the shoring side of things. Moving on down. Um, and that'll be using 50mm by 200mm. Uh, H4 treated wood and I'm just gonna again it'll be easier to show you rather than trying to explain it but what I've got planned is going to be pretty robust so I should allay any fears of a collapse so, yep onward so the first thing I want to do is uh, mark out the um, where these anchor points are going to go and so they're going to be spaced I'm going to have two of them and I'll have them evenly spaced across here same with the sides and and the other side. That's we'll measure that out, which I don't know what it was, yep, yeah, 1.2. So it's uh oh, that by three could be 400. So I want one at 400, one at 800. And what I'll do is I'll run a plumb bob down. Um, as I go down the shaft, so I can get them in a nice straight line. Yeah. Okay, I think in a vision this would be quite good, this pen, but it's not. It's rubbish. Good, get this one a go. Right. Uh, you might measure it from the other side, because that's. Fall over, fall down there and break the neck. I'm going to flat edge to uh, measure it against there. So let's uh, come across. Let's see, 400. Yeah. 800. Sweet. Jesus, these aren't working out too well. Sort of mark on the concrete, so I'll, I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Let's give this a go. I think this is going to work a bit better. Okay, I want that to be good. Doesn't have to be exact, exact. 
as long as I follow the same line all the way down, which I'll say a plumb bob will uh, make sure that happens. Beautiful. That's not going to fade. Right, now I'm on at 800. Go. Nice clear markings so I can follow those all the way down the bottom of the shaft, which will be at seven meters. So, if you've, you've probably noticed, I'm pretty much making this up as I go along. But, um, so what I've done here, I've fixed the bracket. In line with my mark, got the plumb bob hanging down there, going down to the, pretty much the bottom of the shaft. And I'm going to knock up a staple into the ground in line with the bottom of that. And then I can run a string between the top and the bottom mark. And that's me, me line. And I'll put me, uh, me anchor points on. Beautiful. So I'll show you. You guys, this is like a ball of material. I was given this years ago, and um, I think it was used something I was used in gardening. I, I don't know what for, maybe to to mark out lines of veggies or something. Who knows? Anyway, I'm going to use that to uh, mark out mark out where my um, oh, Mr. Screw it. Mark out where my um, these anchors go. So you can see I've put screws around the outside here into the, into the wood um, as a top anchor and then I'll get these staples in the bottom and then run the material between those nice and tight and um, yeah see how that works out. All right friends so I've uh, got this, this, this all marked out now all the way around, top to the bottom, all four sides. So probably looks like a bit of overkill, but um, generally I gotta confess I tend to <laughs> take a few shortcuts in the old uh, planning and marking out areas. I just want to rip into things, and then I end up having to change and redo things like here. Um, Pretty much all of these have managed to fall down where I've got the, the rebar. So I'm going to have to cut some of this out in order to put these anchor points in. But that's all good. I mean, it's, I've got a welder, I've got a cutter, whatever. But um, moving forward, I'm going to try and plan a little bit better so I don't have to be redoing things 
quite so much. <laughs> and these bottom anchor points, um, so that'll be the reference point moving down. So once I so when I dig down another meter, <clears throat> and I want to put some more anchor points below this point, then I can run a plumb bob from here down, and I'll know that I'm still in line with the top ones. And as I say, down one of these sides, it's probably going to be this this back wall here. Um, in fact, well, no, it's going to have to be thinking about this. Tricky, tricky, because I have a door on the opposite side. Um, then right, I probably don't need to worry about that too much right now, but I'm going to be having some some rails coming down here. I guess the rails on this side can go outside the doorway, maybe. And right on the edges, and then a door in the middle. But anyway, it's going to be rails going down there, which are going to accommodate the lift. And they obviously need to be in a straight line. We'll see, it'll all come together. All right, I've got this first row mark here. We're going to, fortunately, I mentioned I cut some of the rebound because that's too close to where I'm going to put these anchor points. But that's all good. Oh, I'm going to up. Ah, caught up in the wires. I got the money's worth out of that one. Alright, so next stage is to um these bit of rebar out of the way and um, cut through the core fruit with a hole saw. Trying to remember to put that back. Use my marks. I have a whole, whole saw which isn't the best, it's going to blunt it, but that wouldn't be help. Uh. 
Oh shit. Oh yeah, I'm gonna grab a knife for that one. Let's get this one out. Oh. Come on, baby. Oh, that doesn't sound good. I think you little. That's a sad sight. Worn it out. I can't believe it. I mean, it's, you know, I've had it a few years, but. Yeah. She's done. Damn it. Oh, it stinks down here. Let's put this. Yeah, come on. Stink. All right, I'm back, guys. We've a quarter drill this time to finish the job off. Oh, Jesus Christ! This... Probably, please, want to build a proper ladder in here. So this whole thing I've had for decades, and I've honestly I've flashed the guts out of this thing, and it still keeps going. The um, the cordless drill, I, I've, I've had it for a fair while, and to be honest, it's done a lot of hard work, probably a lot more than it should have. So I mean, I'm disappointed it's packed up, but I can't say I'm surprised. You know what? I'll save up and get a new one. In the meantime, we're back to using the old cord. Yeah, I just hit him Here we go. Six out of six. So I cut the crap out of that other one. That uh,
Hi well, guys, that's another weekend done. Um, I don't feel like I got a lot done this weekend, but uh, nevertheless, um, so what I have done, I've bored these holes into the clay, which you can see go back quite a way. And so they're going to have a length of rebar going through there with a threaded rod welded on the end. So there's six of these at the stage. Now two of them I've got concreted in already. The threaded rods I've covered up in masking tape so I don't get cement on it and ruin the threads. Um, so there's two of them and then there's another two holes over this side so I've still got four holes to cement the rods in um, it's hard going um, boring through that clay to be honest it took a lot longer than I expected but that's that's life so the idea is to um, come down to here and put another set of holes all the way around and um, and carry that on as I dig down and then I, as I mentioned I can mount on, on this on this wall here, I'm going to mount a ladder so I can get rid of this bloody step ladder out of here, which is an absolute nuisance. And then these other walls will have rails on them, um, which the elevator will run up and down. And as I go down to when I get down to here, um, to this level here, as I move down, I'm actually going to use wooden shoring carrying on down. Um, I've got some 200 by 50 H4 treated wood and so I'll make up like a box section and what I'll do is I'll um, you know, use in these holes and these rods or about to secure the wood to the walls every um, periodically every I don't know maybe every meter or half meter maybe half meter might be too much but see how see how solid it all feels and the, um, the sort of box section I'm going to do I'll be offsetting the ends so that it um, takes the load. It'll sort of make more sense when I start doing it and it'll have brackets in the corners to hold it all together and it'll be pretty solid to be honest. And I'll probably put some metal straps on the inside just to finish it off. So she's going to be real solid. So then that should um, stop any any worries about any collapses and stuff. It means I'll be going a bit slower but it'll be a lot safer. So that's me for this weekend. Um, as I say, not a huge <laughs> amount to show for my efforts, but that was probably about 10 hours work, believe it or not. That was, that was hard graph of burnt one drill out. I uh, broke a handle on the other drill, so I had to repair that. Uh, yeah, and there we go. So, until the next video, thanks for watching, and Lex out.